Hello everyone, welcome once again to this online class. We are discussing about the representation of geographical features. We have discussed about gentle slope, steep slope. We also discussed about ridge and watershed ridge. In the first we discussed about, uh, about the conical hill. So in this video we shall discuss about three representation of relief by the contours. The first one is a plateau, second one is a cliff and third one is waterfall. How they are shown on the topographical map with the help of contour lines. So let us discuss one by one regarding these relief features. Talking about plateau, as you know plateau is also known as stable land. That means it has a flat top and steep or gentle slope side. Surrounding areas will be having steep slope or gentle slope and on the top it will be having flat. That means it is a, like that of table land. So how they will be shown in the contour lines on the topper sheet. The first one that is you can see these are contour lines and the actual ground is the plateau is this. So this is the actual ground of the landscape and how they can be shown in the topographical map with the help of contour lines. You could see middle of the area that is shown of the contour lines is having a lot of gap. So that means flat is there. Yes, there is no contour lines in the center. That means it is from the shape you can understand it is having the plateau. That means top is flat. Then the surrounding areas uniformity of the contours are following. This side you see how the contours are uniformly raising from the mean sea level. This side as well as you can see the contours are it is having bit one gentle slope and raising the height of the contour lines. In that sense you could say landforms with a flat top and steep or gentle slope. That means on the top the landscape will be having flat and both the sides or the surrounding areas will be having the contours close to each other with the uniform interval. So, you can see in the center there is a big gap that you remember big gap is there on the center and surrounding areas will be followed by the contour lines. In that way we interpret or we understand that this is a plateau, a relief feature is a plateau. The next one is a cliff, is the cliff, you could see a cliff is a very steep rock or hill overlooking a sea close to the sea or the coastal areas where abrupt end of the mountain is there and then starts sea or ocean starts. So that is cliff, a high mountains and to the front it is having the water or sea water is there. A cliff is a very steep rock or hill overlooking a sea. It is represented by a sudden merging of several contours. Why? When there is a merging of several contours, you would understand that it is abrupt steep slope is there. That means it is like a table that is on the flat and it is having the steep slope which is connected with the ground. In the same way as it is having the abrupt steep, that means the slopey area is there. So in that sense, it will be merged with three or four or several contours. So you understand that it is a cliff and that will be given as the water or it will be there or sea will be written over there. So you would understand it is a cliff, right. So you could see a sudden merging of several contours at one point will be merged. Then the figure shows the contours representing a steep peak or overlooking the sea three or four contours are seen merging into one to show the cliff or 
steep gradient so you can see one two three contours are merged together at one point it shows that it is having the abrupt steepness of the mountains or that is known as cliff it is close to sea that's why it is known as cliff is it clear the next will be having the relief feature is waterfall waterfall you know the waterfall is formed when there is a sudden fall of water over a steep rock into the river bed this is waterfall actually it's moving for this side moving from this side this is the actual landscape of the area and this landscape is shown with the help of contour lines you would notice that these contours are having the v shape these contours are having the v shape is it clear so you could see in the point there are three or four contours are again merged here also it was merged and here also it is merged but difference is that the blue line will be shown which shows waterfall the blue line will be shown which indicates or which means that waterfall is there whenever there is a steep slope two or three contours are shown note that v shaped contours in the figure you can see three contours are seen merging into one while crossing the river this incidence sudden fall of water at location you can see so what happens here all the three contours are merging together in one point and there is a blue line that means that is representing or this meaning is water is passing through and waterfall is there so in that way we understand that it is waterfall so these were the few uh, relief features there are two more relief features that we need to discuss uh, pass saddle coal and gap four are there but these are similarities are there only names are being a bit changed so definitions you need to learn it so in the next video we shall discuss about that hope you understood about today's relief features that is shown with the help of contour lines on the topographical map any doubt any queries are there please do ask after two three classes of the videos we can have uh, the pdf of the question answers and you have to write it maintain the maintain the notebooks and you will be asked to submit your notebooks on first may and the first week of may you have to submit it so that what all the notes are being given by the teachers subject teachers you should maintain write it down don't be so lazy to complete at the last moment side by side you should maintain it thank you all the best